Hi, I'm JC Peratz with AllStarCharts.com, and I thought today would give us a great chance to talk about Fibonacci and how we use it to identify important levels during ongoing trends. Because remember, markets trend. That's why technical analysis works. But along the way, there are key pivot points that we want to identify for both target purposes and risk management. The first thing we want to do is identify important peaks and trough in whatever market we're looking at. If we're looking at stocks, if we're looking at treasury bonds, interest rates, whatever it is. Today, we're going to focus on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We're going to focus on two particularly important peaks, both the 2000 high after the tech bubble and then the 2007 high after the financial crisis. And then what we're going to do is we are going to identify the 161.8% extensions of those levels, then the 261.8% extension of those levels, then the 423.6% extension from those levels, and then the 685 and so on and so on to 1109 and it continues from there. If you're interested on how we calculate these numbers, I encourage you to go to allstarcharts.com slash Fibonacci. But for the purpose of these videos, let's just focus on these key extensions. The first chart that we're going to look at is the Dow Jones Industrial Average going back to the 2000 high. If you look at that 2000 peak down to the 2002 low, prices right now in the Dow Jones Industrial Average are exactly at the 423.6% extension of that entire decline. That's where the Dow stopped going up in January of 2018. The next chart we're going to look at is the more recent epic peak, the 2007 highs before the financial crisis. We're now looking at the 261.8% extension of that 2009 decline. But what's even more important, what we look at the most is when key Fibonacci extension levels cluster together. And that is precisely what is going on. Look at this chart. At exactly the 423.6% extension of the entire 2000 to 2002 decline and the entire 261.8% extension of the 2007 to 2009 decline. So what we want to focus is when these Fibonacci extensions are clustering together. So if the stock market in 2016 and 2017 did very well, historic years, right? It just seems logical that for a consolidation to take place, these are the levels where it should happen. This is perfectly normal market behavior. So moving forward, what do we want to do? We're looking at this 27,000 level. If the Dow Jones Industrial Average manages to break out above that and hold it, I think there's a tremendous amount of upside in stocks. We want to be buying the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We want to be overweight equities. And I think there's a lot of upside to go. If you have any further questions on Fibonacci, I encourage you, go to allstarcharts.com slash Fibonacci, and I lay it all out there.